NetApp Service Level Manager is an intelligent automation software that allows your storage to be consumed against a performance level. It's very simple and easy to use. In this video, I will demonstrate how to install and set up NSLM on a Linux virtual machine. Let's start by requesting a copy of the software from the NetApp My Support webpage. You may follow the instructions to download a copy. Once we have downloaded the software, we can transfer the package to a subdirectory within the virtual machine using WinSCP or other FTP tools. In the next step, let's prepare the environment. We need to install the extra packages for Enterprise Linux, EPEL, and connect the VM to MySQL repository. Let's connect to the Linux VM and unzip the software package. If you're unsure about your environment setup, you may always use the pre-install check script that came with the software package to determine if you have the proper environment setup for the installation. If you're working from a site without internet connectivity, you will need to download the proper files from a different machine and transfer them back here. Please refer to the installation guide for details. Let's continue with the software installation. The installation procedure is very simple and straightforward. Before we proceed, let's just double check the directory again and make sure we have the right files for installation. Then let's execute yum install start.rpm. At the end of installation screen, we can scroll up and find the NSL web user interface login information. Let's use it to access NSLM from a browser. If you run into issues accessing the web page, you may need to whitelist port 443, and you can find instructions inside the readme file or the installation guide. Once we have logged in, there will be a welcome screen to guide us through the steps setting up NSLM. The first step is to set up email notification in the event of a forgotten password. The next step tells us the active IQ is set up and enabled for NSLM on this machine. In the third step, let's change the admin password. The next step allows us to add on tap storage systems for NSLM to manage. This process may take up to 15 minutes in the background. Now we have completed the setup steps and NSLM takes us to its dashboard. We can click through these pop-up balloons to navigate ourselves. The workload page will let you manage all of your workloads in a single place, and we can see the performance service level and efficiency policies in the configuration tab below. Lastly, the dashboard will show you the overall workload status and an overview of your storage environment status. And that's it. We have successfully installed and set up NSLM on a Linux virtual machine. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.